Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Locum23. Joining me for Echoes of Steel, Toy Soldiers. Look for Maxon's Roughnecks at the Wilson's Atom of Atoma Toys Factory. Dweller told Maxon's Roughnecks made their way to Wilson Atoma Toys Factory. That should be my next step. So let's go. Even though my allergies right now are like, let's not go. Let's go. Let the only, only place we'd like you to go is bed. And I also feel kind of like I'm fighting something off. Kind of feeling a little under the weather, so to speak. So it looks like we got some raiders. There's a safe. Will it have money? Will it have items? <laughs> Probably have some stamp packs. Uh, I mean, technically those are, you know, valuable in and of themselves. At least in other Fallout games. This game, not so much. Oh, it only had calves. Oh, boy. One of us goes down, the mission goes on. Simplify. So, hope you folks are having a fantastic day, week, Weekend, whenever you're watching this, let me know in the comment section if you are. It's Seamus McFlarren, and he would like to know how you're all doing this wheel. I'm working on a new accent right now. So, you suddenly you're like, what the fuck happened to you, Locum? He's just working on a new accent for a Cheese Choices gameplay. Or who knows, there might be something else coming up. You never know. How about we go for a pint sometime? <laughs> I just can't do it. Oh, you gotta love it. Maybe we should do some surprises. Got him, got him. That I've I've perfected. Um, at least my own variation of it. Like you get to the point where. Some voices that if you practice long enough, um, you can just instantaneously kind of swap between them. And it's just, you just get the, you know, hey, Gollum. Gollum, my precious. Gollum, Gollum. And then, you know, um, Seamus McFlarenin, he's a, just a gentleman. But he'll also beat the shit out of you if you ever touch a lady inappropriately like Donald Trump. Good damn bastard. That was horrible. He's improvising. We're not reading anything off a script. So it's kind of hard. Because technically, you just do it in your head like, Wow, humans. Humans really did screw things up royally, didn't they? Oh, there was a watch. It was beautiful. Look at what you did to the windows. And then there's Mr. Bane. Or if you ever watched the X Files, you remember, uh, I believe it was the one guy, he had wrinkles. He was really thin. It wasn't the cancer man. It was the other gentleman. Look, my stupid soldiers trying to get themselves killed. You mean rough necks? Where did they go? The survivors ran off to spy side and energy officers. Too bad you won't be so lucky. Oh, Seamus is in the group, though. Richard Pratt, I've had him since, like, the beginning. He's my badass. Billy Adams, one man. Walter Young. Walter Young, uh, pretty much anything with Walter, reminds me of Helsing. I don't know if you ever watched the anime. Super, I mean, it wasn't super long, but it was a, a, a detailed, really cool anime series. I kind of like the, um, where they can, where they did the beginning of, of Helsing again, but then they added a lot after. Um, I didn't, it's not Helsing a bridge, that's the actual bridge version, but it's something I'm trying to think of. Helsing Ultimate. There we go. <laughs> And they added a lot of content to that. I have to say, they did a fantastic job. Um. Serious Victoria. She was 
are quite a badass in that series. I love I love Helsing in and of itself. This is probably actually, to me, it was the best vampire anime that uh, pretty much ever I've ever had the um, pleasure of watching. There was one other one. Um, that was really super short. I don't even think it... I, I think it was, like, either a movie or, like, six episodes. It was really, really short. Um, but, yeah, those... Hellsing Ultimate. Definitely a cool series. You should watch the original, too. But, um, Hellsing Ultimate. Gotta say, it's fairly well done. Should just one day... Go around talking like this, except you can feel your vocal cords kind of itching. It starts to really bother you. Ah, shy miss me flaring. Go back, oi. <clears throat> like the left side vocal cord starts to go brrrr, like it. Starts to really vibrate and itch. And then eventually you get to the point where you're like, okay, I, uh, I kind of need a drink. Look what Trump has done to America. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it big. I'm going to make it huge, hugely fail. I mean, is it too much to ask for a politician who's just like, you know what, I'm not corrupt. I'm not a bigot, I'm not a racist, I'm not all these other things. I see America's education going to shit, needs a huge reform. Um, there's a documentary you guys should check out, Waiting for Superman. Ooh, beautiful documentary about the education reform and how the government done screwed it up. It's just to ref um, reward good teachers for good service and pretty much and give them pay increases that they desperately need. And, um... Especially for, I mean, right now we're we're lacking teachers. We're having overcrowded classrooms. Um, I always wanted to be a teacher. My um, fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Dye, was an incredible influence on my life, and and pretty much a lot of the outlooks that I I see on life, along with everything else, and. Um, pretty much she made me want to be a teacher because I wanted to pass that on but uh, life unfortunately has given me different options different circumstances you know you always you always dream big when you're a child don't you I'm gonna be a firefighter I'm gonna be a policeman <laughs> being a cop is not a dream big thing anymore I'm gonna be a cop so I can go around just shooting people and do police brutality woohoo I mean <laughs> just Oh, it's kind of like a Homer Simpson kind of job. But, uh, I mean, there's good cops out there. Don't get me wrong, but... I ain't met any in a long, long, long time. Holy crap, that's fast. My brain today is going... But seriously, I haven't met any in a long time. Yeah, we already did the... the huh. But yeah, I wanted to be a teacher. Didn't get to be. It just feels like a, like one room after the other. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Welcome to Fallout Shelter, good sir. Nothing in this room unless something pops up through the floor. And the last room has nothing except for some caps. It's a lot of caps. Twenty k. Not bad. Oh, we got a piece of recipe, dude, didn't we? Oh, we got a dog! I did not know that. Huh. Guess we'll see what the black lab does. Hmm. I did not notice we got a dog. That's cool. I need more, I, I need more pets. Seems like that's the only thing this game is lacking of, is the ability to collect a lot of pets. Um, Mr. Handy, I mean, has become more of a... of a constant you know, dominator in this, in the vault. Um, and then they introduced pets, not that long ago, I mean, it was about six months ago, but, I don't know, 
it's not that one. It's this one. Customize fifteen dollars for a pet. Survive those, and then this one. No, I'm not wasting no Coca Cola on that. I thought it was one, two, eh. That's your limit. Two Noca Colas is just way too damn high. Well, folks, I hope you did enjoy the video. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And, um, feel free to tune back. Um, pretty much it's going to take them two hours, uh, seven, three, and then we'll send them back out for those. Send them back out for those. And then I guess the other mission will be... Just headshots. Screw it. Alright. Well, until next time, folks. I will see you tomorrow for either more Fallout Shelter. Unless I choose to do something else, which I'm going to get some rest now. Like I said, I'm feeling under the weather. And um, more Fallout Shelter either tomorrow or, um, of course, the Choices episodes. So, until next time, folks. Oh, no. A feral ghoul attack. <laughs> These three handle it alone, so peace out, folks.